I will be rating every state in the United States based off of tornado activity out of 10. I will be doing this in reverse alphabetical order as my last video on the deadliest tornado in every state I went to in alphabetical order. Starting off with Wyoming, it has had many tornadoes having 732 of them being recorded but it has only had one tornado being violent as it was the famous 1987 Yellowstone tornado. Another large tornado that hit Wyoming was the 2018 Laramie EF3 and the 1979 Cheyenne tornado that had one fatality. As a result, I will give Wyoming a 5.5 rating. Next is a very interesting one and it is Wisconsin. Not a lot of people know that Wisconsin is one of the most active states in the United States as it has had 1,099 tornadoes. The state has had 113 tornadoes with one fatality at least and six F5 tornado that are the Oakfield tornado with zero fatalities, Barneville tornado with nine fatalities, Fayette tornado with three fatalities, Wausau tornado that had 12 fatalities, Tainter tornado with 21 fatalities and the deadliest of them all is the 1899 New Richmond F5 that had 117 fatalities. Taking everything into consideration I will give Wisconsin a 9.0 out of 10. The next state is West Virginia that has only had 181 tornadoes which is not a lot but West Virginia is a small state so that makes sense. Its only F4 rated tornado is one of the worst tornadoes in US history as it is the Shiniston F4 tornado that had 100 fatalities. Another notable tornado to hit West Virginia is the 2012 West Liberty F3 that had 10 fatalities, West Milford F3 that had 4 fatalities, and the Thomas F3 that had 3 fatalities. For West Virginia I will give the state a 6.7 rating. Next is Washington as the state has only had 129 tornadoes but it has had the worst tornado in Pacific Northwest history when an F3 hit Portland, Oregon and Vancouver, Washington and there was also an F3 that hit Seattle and had one injury. I will give Washington a 5.1 out of 10. Virginia is next as the state has had 873 tornadoes. Its worst tornado was the Rye Cove F2 that had 13 fatalities and an F3 hit North Garden, Virginia and had 11 fatalities. The state has had two recorded F4 rated tornadoes that are the 2001 Jeffersonton F4 and the 1993 Petersburg F4. I will give Virginia a 6.8 which is 0.1 more than West Virginia. Vermont is the next state as it has only had one F3 rated tornado that briefly touched down near Jamaica, Vermont as the state has only had 62 recorded tornadoes and one fatality that was from a tornado from over 200 years ago. I will give Vermont a 4 out of 10. Utah is the next state as it has had only 142 tornadoes and one F3 rated tornado that hit Bluebell, Utah and had zero injuries or fatalities. The only tornado to hit Utah and have a fatality is the 1999 Salt Lake City F2 that had one death. I will give Utah a 3.6 out of 10. The next state is Texas which is the state with the most tornadoes as almost 10,000 of them have been recorded to hit Texas which includes 112 F4 tornadoes, 11 F5 tornadoes, 427 F3s, 1690 F2s, 2629 F1s, 4847 F0s and 170 F unknowns. The state's worst tornadoes to hit the state are the 1947 Woodward Glazier Higgins F5 that had 181 fatalities, 1902 Goliad F4 that had 114 fatalities and the 1953 Waco F5 that also had 114 fatalities. So Texas will get a 10 out of 10 right. Well not actually because Texas is one of the largest states so it makes sense that the state gets the most tornadoes so I will give it a 9.7 out of 10. Tennessee has had over 1,500 tornadoes including two F5 tornadoes that are the 1998 New Haven F5 that had zero deaths and the 1923 Pinson F5 that had 20 fatalities. Its worst tornado is the 1925 Henderson F4 that killed 38 people so I will give Tennessee a 8.3 out of 10. South Dakota is the next state as it has had over 2,000 tornadoes and has had two F5 tornadoes and 26 F4 tornadoes mostly in the eastern part of the state. 
The two F-5 tornadoes to hit South Dakota are the Wilmot F-5 that killed eight people and the Kalame F-5 that killed zero people. I will give South Dakota a 8.5 out of 10. South Carolina is the next state that has had over 1,300 tornadoes with 16 of those being rated F4, the deadliest of them which is also the deadliest tornado in the state's history is the Bishopville F4 that killed 53 people. I will give South Carolina a 8.2 out of 10. Rhode Island is the next state that has only had 20 tornadoes and one F2 that hit Providence in 1986 and injured 20 people so I will give Rhode Island a 3.5. Pennsylvania is the next state as it has had 1,000 tornadoes including one F5 which is the farthest east tornado to be rated F5 as it is the Niles Wheatland tornado that killed 18 people. Pennsylvania's deadliest tornado is the Uniontown F4 that had 30 fatalities. I will give Pennsylvania a 8.3 out of 10. Oregon has only had 130 tornadoes and one F3 that was the Portland F3 that killed six people as that tornado is the only Oregon tornado to have a fatality and the state has also had six F2 tornadoes. I will give Oregon a 5.1 out of 10. Oklahoma is next as it has had more F4 tornadoes than Oregon has had tornadoes in general having 137 of them and having 12 F5 tornadoes as it total having 4,760. The most notable F5s to hit the state are the Blackwell Tornado, Woodward Tornado, 1999 Moore Tornado, 2013 Moore Tornado, Piedmont Tornado and more. I will give Oklahoma a 9.9 .9 out of 10 which is really close to 10 out of 10 but only one state can be rated that high. Next is Ohio that has had over 1400 tornadoes and the worst one is the Lorraine Tornado that killed 85 people and injured 300. Also the famous Xenia F5 that killed 36 people is the second deadliest tornado in Ohio history and some other notable Ohio tornadoes are the 1920 Toledo F4, 1985 Niles Wheatland F8, Strongsville F4 and the 1965 Toledo F4. I'm going to give Ohio a 8.7 out of 10. North Dakota is next and it has had two F5 tornadoes which are the Fargo tornado which is also the worst in the state's history and the other one is the Fort Rice tornado. Another notable tornado is the Walhalla F2 that killed 8 people. I'm going to give North Dakota an 8 out of 10. North Carolina has had over 1,500 tornadoes which includes 15 F4s and 55 F3s but surprisingly zero F5s. The worst tornadoes in the state's history are the Greensville F4, Rockingham F4, and the Greensboro F4. I will give North Carolina a 8.2 out of 10. New York has had 580 tornadoes which includes one F4 that was the 1989 Albany tornado. Some other famous ones are the 1989 Coldenham F1 that was potentially a downburst but nobody knows for sure as a wall collapsed in a cafeteria of East Coldenham Elementary School and killed nine students and the Brooklyn F2 which is the worst tornado in New York City history. I will give New York a 7.2 out of 10. The next state is New Mexico that has had 657 tornadoes which includes 8 F3s as one person has been killed by those tornadoes when an F3 hit Maxwell. I will give New Mexico a 6.6 .6 out of 10. The next state with 221 tornadoes is New Jersey and the worst tornado in the state's history is the 1885 when an F2 hit Philadelphia. I'm going to give New Jersey a 4.8 out of 10. Next is New Hampshire with 125 recorded tornadoes and three F3s. Only recently a long track F2 killed one person in 2008. I will give the state a 4.5 out of 10. Nevada is next as the state has only had 97 tornadoes and the strongest one is the Reno F2 and only two tornadoes have had one injury. I'm going to give the state a 1.2 out of 10. The next state has had over 3,000 tornadoes which is Nebraska that includes 5 F5 tornadoes which are the Hastings F5, Geneva F5, Pender F8, Tryon F5 and the Oshkosh F5. In 1913 one of the worst tornado outbreaks ever hit caused 3 F4s that all hit the Omaha area that had 23 fatalities, 25 fatalities and the worst of all that went through the heart of Omaha killing 103 people. 
I'll give the state a 9.2 out of 10. The last state for part one is Montana that has had 453 tornadoes that includes one F4 that hit Glendive in 1961 and injured one person. The worst one in the state's history was an F3 that hit rural Montana and killed two people. I will give it a 7 out of 10. Thank you for watching this video because not a lot of people have made it this far so if you liked it please subscribe so I can get to 400 subs.